Hey everyone, I'm Rue. What is the most powerful thing you can think of? Take a moment, think about it. Is it a bulldozer? A dinosaur? A superhero? There are a lot of powerful things around, but you have something that is more powerful than any machine or superpower. Can you think of what it might be? I'll tell you, it's our words. Has someone ever said something kind to you that made you feel amazing? Has someone ever said something mean to you that made you feel terrible? Words can make or break our friendships. Words can make us smile and they can make us cry. Your words are so powerful. This week, Jesse and Gabby are going to see just how powerful words can be in The Source. Let's see what happens. How are we doing with the election, Bowman? Well, we definitely have juniors on your side, but a lot of sophomores don't like you. I did bully a lot of them last year. Yeah, but don't worry, I may have an in. I used to be a sophomore once. We all were sophomores, Bowie. Hello! Oh, it's Happy Gabby. <sighs> What's going on, Gabby? Oh, I'm just thinking about you running for student class president. Vote for Jesse. And we need to talk. Why? I am going to help you. This is my strategy that will help you become president of Arcadia High. Whoa, you made this? Yes. And if you would let me, I would love to be your campaign manager. Absolutely. Great. Get your victory speech ready, Mr. President. Okay. I think we use your popularity as captain of the football team to show students that you are a big voice that will speak up for them. I love it. Great. Okay. Here's what's next. Good morning, Arcadia High. I'm Samantha Stone, and these are your morning announcements. I think our first order of business is to get you an interview in the morning announcements. I may have an in. I kind of know Samantha Stone. And in other news, I have a huge announcement to make about this year's election. Uh-oh. Hooray. I think she's going to give Jesse a shout-out. Uh, I don't think so. I didn't talk to her yet. I, Samantha Stone, your favorite anchor, am running to be your next president. Oh, wow. That's great. You know, I hope she does well. <laughs> Bowie, we're running Jesse's campaign. Samantha is running against him. I'm not worried. I'm Jesse Masters. Students love me. Yeah, totally. Hey Trixie, I think we should start off the next issue with you interviewing Jesse. Okay, great, thanks. Yeah, talk to you later, bye. Oh, okay, we can get Jesse to talk to the chess club, that would be good. Cause we really need the smart vote. Gabby! Just got some info from Marbles. Uh, what did he say? He said that Samantha's gonna be making a speech during the morning announcements. But that's not fair. She's gonna use the power of the announcements to make herself look good. Okay, let's see what good old Samantha has planned. Certain members of the football team have spent the past few years attacking our weaker students. Yet, people think they're great because they play sports. This is bad. Maybe we should be rethinking who our heroes are. This news anchor would love to put our teachers and scientists above athletes and celebrities. As president, I want to redefine what's popular. Well. I think we lost the spark boat. Did you all see that? Uh, yes. She straight up attacked me. Because she wants to win at any cost. So do I. So what do we do? We need to strike back. You can't ever call me a bully. You know Samantha really well. You gotta have some dirt. I do, but I want to run a positive campaign. Stay on your message, a voice for all students. And how do you think Samantha will respond to that? She's gonna destroy us. Exactly. 
We need to show the school that Jesse Masters is not someone you should mess with. Or we can show that Samantha is someone that can't be trusted, you know? Make people question her. But that feels mean. I like that. I'm not saying we make something up. We just print the truth and question her voice. Okay, maybe. Bowie, find what you can. You can find anything you need. This feels like war. Oh yeah. You mess with Jesse Masters and you will face the fire. That's a good campaign slogan. Hey again. Our words can do so many things. We can use them to give inspiring speeches. <laughs> Four school and seven years ago. We can use them to give instructions. Okay, okay, connect beam one to beam two and then raise it up. Go ahead, Mikey, yeah, a little higher, that's good. Good job. Even just the small, everyday words we say can make a difference. But words aren't always used for good. Have you ever been hurt by words someone else said? <laughs> if our words are so powerful, how do we use them really well? To find out, Let's take a look at how God's son, Jesus, used his words. You can read this story about Jesus in the book of John in the Bible. Jesus was just starting to do some amazing things. Most people still didn't know who he was. One of those people was Nathaniel. One day, Nathaniel was just chilling under a tree. His brother, Philip, came running up, so excited about following this Jesus guy. Philip asked Nathaniel to start following Jesus with him. But Nathaniel was just like, nah, bruh. Philip didn't give up though. He said, this guy is the one God is sending to save us. He's Jesus from the town of Nazareth and hold up, from Nazareth? <laughs> what a joke. Nothing good can come from Nazareth. Don't waste your time with that guy. Nathaniel made fun of Jesus and even his whole family just because of where they're from. It'd feel like if someone made fun of where you came from. Ugh. They're from Minnesota. No one likes Minnesotans. <laughs> Philip kept bugging Nathaniel until, fine, bro, whatever. I'll meet this Jesus guy. So they went to see Jesus. While they were walking up, Jesus started talking to them. Jesus said he already knew who Nathanael was, even though they'd never met. Jesus told Nathanael that he knew all the unkind things Nathanael had said. Nathanael probably felt like... Even though Nathanael had said mean things about Jesus, Jesus was still kind to him. He asked Nathaniel to follow him. Can you imagine what would have happened if Jesus had used mean words like Nathaniel did? You're mean, Nathaniel. I don't want to be your friend. <gasps> Nathaniel probably would have been even more mean and definitely wouldn't have followed Jesus. What a powerful example of how our words can make a difference. Nathaniel's words were unkind and hurtful, but Jesus chose to use his words to say kind things and try to make a friend. Jesus' kind words changed Nathaniel's life forever. Our words can make a difference too. That's what I want you to remember today. We can use our words to build others up. Kind, loving, encouraging, and hopeful words make our friendships and families stronger, like building a strong structure. That's why we call it building someone up. Hey, hey Mikey, we need some more encouragement over here. And yeah, you bring that kindness over here too. You're all right, Mikey, thank you. I wonder if Jesse's words will build Samantha up or tear her down in their school election. Let's find out what happens. There's gotta be something that can shake Samantha up. There is. I just don't know if it'll be too mean. She's been trashing me nonstop. Today, she's been saying how I'm nothing more than an airhead jock. Okay, I know, but I don't want to go to her level. 
I want to focus on the positives. Remember your campaign slogan? A voice for all students? But kids don't care about slogans. <sighs> they want gossip. I need to come off strong in this debate. You know I'm right. All right. I got some news from Marbles. Now apparently, Samantha has a picture of Jesse from two years ago when he tied Wendell to the flagpole. But I'm not that person anymore. We need to stop Samantha. Okay, fine. Here are some notes on Samantha. Deep down, she's really insecure, especially about her voice. Say she sounds squeaky and she'll totally start worrying. She'll be so nervous during the debate. Perfect. Oh, I can feel the election fever in the newsroom. Mm, and it's making me sick. And we haven't even had the debate yet. <sighs> the bitter game of politics. All right, what's going on? Samantha is trashing Jesse everywhere, Mr. Corbin. Yeah, I know, I've been watching. She's running a pretty negative campaign. And that's why we're gonna strike back. <laughs> okay, what's your plan? Show her that I'm not someone you can mess with. Uh, so fight a negative campaign with a negative campaign. Exactly. I can't look weak, Principal C. Yeah, but it won't change your reputation. People already think you're a bully. Yeah? Where exactly are you going with this, Principal C? Okay. Let's Ooh. see. Oh, you gonna break stuff, Mr. Corman? I could. Or, I could fix this shelf that's falling. Ah, that's better. I can use the same hammer to do something like this. See, your words work the same way. You can either use them to build or destroy. But she's using her words to destroy me. Right, but you want to be president, right? So as a leader, show your strength by building others up, even when it's hard. It sounds good, Principal C, but I just don't trust Samantha to do the same. I need to strike first. He didn't listen to your advice, Mr. Corbin. I don't think anyone's ever done that, ever. That's okay, Bowie. That's the thing with words. You say the right thing, regardless of how a person responds. I'm more worried about what's gonna happen to Samantha. I've never been more excited for election results. I can't believe I didn't use your cards during the debate. Principal C really has a way of making you think. I think you did the right thing. What made you change your mind? I don't know. When I was debating Samantha and I looked her in the eye, I didn't feel right putting her down. Dude, she didn't care about that. She ran a nasty campaign. She was the one calling you Jesse Monsters. Jesse, I saw the debate. It took a strong person to do what she did. I was particularly impressed when you said Samantha's idea of redefining popularity was a great idea. I hope the rest of the students agree with you. I was particularly blown away when you said she had a big heart for the school. Okay, everybody, shh. They're about to announce the winner. Greetings, everyone. I'm Wendell Ames, and here are your election results. In a sweeping landslide, the next school president is... Jesse Masters. I think I said Jesse Masters. You did! I won! In a landslide! Congratulations, Jesse! <laughs> That's President Jesse to you. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I'm still Jesse. Congratulations, Mr. President. Thank you. What's your first order of business? I'll show you. Hi, Samantha. He's calling Samantha? I don't know. I just wanted to say how much I admired your campaign. I thought you brought up some really good ideas. What do you say we work together sometime? I want you to be my vice president. <laughs> Great. I'll meet you in the lunchroom. You're making her your vice president? Yeah. I think we can bring some much needed change to the school. My first order of business, no homework on Fridays. Yes! Okay, slow down there, Mr. President. You gotta get permission from the teachers first. Then I guess I'll have to persuade them with my words. Come on, Bowie. Let's go talk to Miss Cavanaugh. <laughs> he is quite a character. Oh, he certainly is. But you know what? I think you'll be a good president. Principal C, can I give a speech from your office? Uh, no, you're the president, not the principal. Gotcha. Just checking. He's, he's learning.
What a week! We learned how our powerful words can build other people up and how Jesus used his words to change Nathaniel's life. We also saw Jesse struggle to use his words wisely. In the end though, he made such a wise decision. We can use kind words and build other people up too, even when we disagree with them and even when we don't like them. Like we saw today, angry and mean words only create more anger and meanness. Kind and loving words are the words that really make the world better. So, how are you gonna use your powerful words? My challenge for you this week is, build someone up with your words. Send an encouraging note. Tell someone why you're thankful for them or point out something they're really good at. You never know the difference you could make in their life. Thanks for watching everyone. See you next week.